Um, all right, so let's talk about the RC because I think that in the drone industry, you have a wide range of professionalism as well as versatility with the RC. Um, I have never used the uh, RC Pro Enterprise and I think it's quite a large cumbersome name, but uh, we'll talk about like what what makes the controller special, whether you're uh, able to put third party apps on it, um, because I've used a lot of RCs that are particularly just not user friendly. Yeah, and you can see all the stats on the slide deck, but honestly, my opinion about it, I know that you know we're focusing on a smart controller here with an embedded display. We did have platforms previously that was a non-smart controller that had an iPad or an Android device that you would hook up to. Um, if you think price point and flexibility, I've really come around to the idea of having a screen embedded, something that no one can call no one can ping, no one can interrupt, um, mm -hmm. and you don't have a tablet dying in the field while the drone is potentially still flying. And so there were a lot of aspects of having an iPad that were really difficult, where having a dedicated screen that doesn't overheat like you see with iPads and some Android tablets, it has a much larger peak net brightness that is going to be able to see a lot easier in those bright sun. Uh, it's for what the package is, including a drone, RTK module, and a smart controller, it is just next level. Uh, but the one other aspect, if you look at just the Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the two controllers, so the Enterprise controller has a speaker. So when you look at attaching the speaker to the drone, you're going to be able to actually communicate between drone controller and the speaker. Um, and then also you have mini HDMI out. So if you are looking to get more eyes visible on the screen, public safety perspective, and being able to have every uh, police officer being able to analyze and view the screen is gonna be important. So there's some nice features there on the RC Pro Enterprise, but I am pretty excited about having a dedicated controller with a screen with SDK support, so you can load Drone Deploy, Sky Browse, uh, and then some other apps on there at a later date, US, UCGS, uh, Pix4D, things like that. 